Okay, we're going to uh, replace the cross member frame in this uh, Parrot AR Drone 2.0. Mm -hmm. So we're going to replace the, the frame. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the, uh, the bottom. So we'll just grab something here and just pry up the bottom. And take that off like that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is remove these screws here. Then we want to remove these ribbon cables here. We want to be really careful the way we do that. So we're going to use an X-Acto knife to back off the locking mechanism without breaking it. So we back it off a little bit at a time on each side. And then when it's all the way backed out, we can remove the ribbon cable like that. So after we pull this locking mechanism back, it releases this ribbon cable and the locking me mechanism stays in the connector like that. Then on this one, it's the same type of device where you just pull back on either side a little bit at a time until it releases the ribbon cable. Now this one here is going to be different. This one has to, this, this uh, connector, this locking connector has to come off. So the way we're going to remove this is we're going to get a pick and we're going to hook in the end and move it around so that it comes off. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. You've got to be really careful that you don't want to break these because they're really fragile. They're only made out of plastic. And you just slide it off like that. And then this ribbon cable just comes right out like that. Now, on this end, this piece is going to stay attached, this ribbon cable here. And so we're just going to pull this up and get it out of the way. I put a loop in here. Take that tape, put it right on the board, and put it to the back of the drone like that to hold it out of the way. What we want to do here is remove two connectors to the main board. The best way to do that is with a um, ice pick where you grab the end of each one and uh, you pull it off. Again you pull a little bit from each side and it just comes right out of the connector. Okay so we got the plug out of one and then we go for the other one so we've got that out of there. Now these are all the wires that are connected to the cross member. So the next thing we want to do is remove these um, from the side of the fuselage. Okay, and the last one. Okay, now we've got everything off, so we open this up. And we want to move the, the bad cross frame out. So, there we go. Okay, with the cross member fully out and with the new cross member in hand you want to make sure that there's a small arrow
right here. And you want to have that arrow pointing toward the camera end, toward the rear end. And you also want to make sure that the feet are pointed up toward the bottom of the drone so that it's in there properly. Those are the two main things that you want to be really careful of. This arrow pointing toward the rear and that these feet are up. Okay, now pull these ribbon cables up, set the cross member down in the, in the slots and slowly push them down into the slots. So there is the new cross member in place. Now, we have these, rib these cables here that need to be reattached. So we're going to reattach the red and black one first. Just put it right into the connector. You want to take that, put it right in there, and then using a flat blade screwdriver or some other pushing device, deep seat it into the connector. The second connector here is the same way. It can only go in one way. So it's with these grooves going up. So you just put it in the connector like that and then slowly push it in and deep seat it into the connector so the the plug is fully deep seated into the connector. We release the main board and we feed the ribbon cable through the slot, screw holes, and take one screw. and put it in to hold the board in place. Then you can take the other screws and put them in also. What you'd like to do is take the locking connector that you took off from this ribbon cable and slide it back on with the large portion on top. And once that's on, you want to get some tweezers or something like that and feed the ribbon cable into the connector. When you know that the ribbon cable is fully seated, you snap the top portion on and then slowly move it into place and lock it into the connector. On this connector we want to make sure that this locking device is all the way back before putting this ribbon cable into place. So with your tweezers and that is all the way back because if it's a little bit forward it won't allow that ribbon cable to go in. There. The ribbon cable slid in then you just close the locking connector and you're all set. So, Alright, we're almost there. The next thing we want to do is take 
these new alignment devices. They're kind of a, a locking. They keep the, the fuselage from splitting apart and they hold the arms in place and take the self-adhesive, the protection off the self-adhesive backs and hold the fuselage together and then put these in place. All right, so there we've got the new cross member on the, uh, on the drone and uh, looking pretty good. The only thing left is to uh, put this bottom cover on. This one here has got plenty of sticky and it's already put together and it's just going to work fine. All it does is keep the dust out anyhow. And so the only thing you want to be sure of is to make sure that this alignment hole right here that lets the camera, the bottom camera view, is straight over the lens. So you just put that on and the rest of it should just fall right in place. The only thing left to do here is to exchange out the motors, the motors and the gears. And the motors, these motors and gears are okay. So uh, I'm just going to transplant these onto the new arms and uh, it'll be ready to go. There is one particular uh, thing I should note here, and that is to keep the motors on the same arms that they came off of. And the way that is done is there's a number on the, each arm. This is three, two, one, and four. So what I've done is labeled the arms on the new copter when switching the motors over. You want to be sure to match the correct motor with the correct arm assembly. Okay, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Well, all four motors, gears, props, everything's installed right now and uh, it's time to see whether or not we did it right. So let's strap in the battery and we'll see if all the motors go. One, two, three, four. It's ready for flight. Let's take it out and see what it'll do. Put the cover on it. Let's go. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Will it take off? Hey, it's up. Let's see if it'll come over here. Bring it up a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it over into the center. And the push landing. Okay, success. We've got a new cross member in our AR drone. Thanks for watching.